Well, the radically decentralized architecture of the internet enabled millions of people to build it. It wasn't built by a government. It wasn't built by a corporation. We wouldn't have the web if it wasn't for millions of people putting up websites and linking to them. And that's been enormously powerful. Our ordinary people have been able to make their voice heard. People uh, have printing presses on their desktops. They have uh, broadcasting stations. They have places where communities and, and markets can form. It's a, a radical decentralization of the power that only used to belong to the, the powerful and the wealthy. But now we're seeing uh, corporations and states uh, trying to re-centralize power. So a number of conflicts over copyright, over internet neutrality, over censorship um, are challenging that democratic nature of the internet. So the future of the internet I think is is not assured. Will a few companies and a few governments uh, regain the control that they lost to citizens or will, will citizens uh, regain that power or maintain that power. I think it's important for many people who get online because of Facebook to understand that, that Facebook is not the internet. And I, I like Facebook, I use Facebook, but I understand that it's a, a private enterprise that owns everything that I put on it. I make my own blogs, I make my own websites and wikis. I think it's important for people to exercise the power to create and not just consume. And be sure that when you are sharing, you know who owns what you share and, and what they are doing with your information. So I think that the, the critical uncertainty now about the future of the internet is not the hardware or the software or the services or the businesses, but what people know, the literacy, the skills, the know-how. The technology has changed so rapidly that our educational institutions certainly haven't kept up with it. Parents don't teach their children how to tell good information from bad information online. You don't learn in school how to do effective search. So I wrote Net Smart, which is subtitled How to Thrive Online, to enable people to share the knowledge that the, the people who have been online and have learned how to use it have gathered. I talk about five uh, five particular literacies of attention, uh, participation, collaboration, and crap detection, and network awareness. And each one of those is not, not really complex. It's not as, as hard as learning to, to multiply, but it's something that uh, if you do know, you will become empowered. You will have an advantage as an individual. But I think the way we can also improve the commons, we can improve the the, the web as a whole is by increasing the number of people who know what they're doing.